What's up guys, this is Zach from Angler's Escape and today I wanted to show you my top five beach fishing baits. It's right here in my hand, I got four of my favorite baits and I'll talk about the last one later but the first one is cut squid and this is really nice because it stays on the hook really well. It's really tough and uh, all the fish love it so it's a really good bait. The downside is you have to buy it but it's pretty easy to get at your local uh, bait store by the beach or and a lot of times Walmart even has it. So squid is a good a piece like this is a good bait on like a 2-0 circle hook. The, my next favorite bait is um, just shrimp and this is actually frozen. Um, I prefer live or fresh dead shrimp because they stay on the hook better but frozen does the job really well too and usually I just use maybe a third of a piece of shrimp and take off the tail and try to take off some of the hard outer covering when I fish with it but use like a 3 or 2 -oh circle hook I catch a lot of whiting and pompo or pompano with uh, the shrimp it's another good bait to use uh, my next favorite bait is sand fleas and the nice thing about this is it's free and they're really easy to get um, in most beach areas you can get these anywhere right where the surf I'll show you guys real quick where you can catch them Right where the tide recedes, right around in here, you'll see two little antennas where the tide recedes. And you take like a little net and just scoop up and you'll get some of these sand fleas. And there's lots of videos on YouTube on how to catch them, but they make really good bait for pompano. Um, my next favorite bait is just cut bait, and this works really well. I've caught stingrays on this, I've caught um, lots of ladyfish, whiting, all kinds of different species. And this is actually a piece of a cigar minnow. And uh, it's a really good bait to use. And let me show you some whole fish that I caught. Here's a couple. Um, this is a croaker, and here's a kind of a sardine subspecies. But anyway, these two baits I caught on sabaki rigs, and I've been catching a lot of bait in my cast net. And the best part about it, it's all free. You can cut these guys up for cup bait or use them whole. You can sometimes you'll catch a nice big redfish off the beach if you're really lucky, or um, you hook into some sharks which are fun to fight or stingrays and so I hope you learned something here today and I'd like to talk about my last bait real quick and that would be fiddler crabs and those I caught some last night and they make good bait too um, unfortunately I used them all and don't have any left but um, I'm gonna try to catch some more tonight and show you guys in the video of some fiddler, fiddler crabs and they also make great bait and they're free alright guys so right here I have a fiddler crab in my hands and as I said I'd catch one overnight and film it and this is my fifth favorite bait for the beach. Um, they make excellent bait. They're kind of a natural beach and they're so numerous. The fish species around here um, readily feed on them. So they're great bait. They stay on the hook well. You can catch pompano, permit, all kinds of different whiting. They'll all take a fiddler crab. They're usually around this size, fully grown, but uh, a great bait. And I hope you learned something here today. Maybe you'll try out one of these beach fishing baits. And thanks for watching.